hey guys so the nothing os 1.5 for phone one is now live and i like how nothing made some unique changes on top of the pixelish interface yeah it is still in beta and there are some small legs and hiccups which is fine the stable software is due for first half next year so i would suggest you to wait for the same so first off no change in the lock screen you can turn off and on dual clock which is not enough if you compare it with one ui or ios the home screen is where all magic begins you finally have themed icon support which not just work on g apps but nothing's own recorder and weather app too so all you have to do is long press and go into the customization settings and then select themed icons which works great there are some awesome new widgets from nothing and of course you can use material you pixel style widget too like clock, YT music, drive and what not. The now playing has got a major redesign it is similar to pixel UI but without squiggle progress bar something I'm gonna miss for sure. Quick settings have got some new add-ons like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pop-up menu redesign and then there's this quick QR scanner tile which is super handy. Finally, there's this new volume interface which I like a lot and yeah, again there are some small and minor interface changes here and there as well. Now I'll show you some system apps and animations. So dialer, message, camera, recorder, this new weather application with cool new design shows UV index, humidity, wind speed and even sunset. Finally, the settings have got some A13 based changes like color palette, game dashboard and some major privacy features. So again, we'll show you each micro setting. Some changes in the notification. You can now select which app you want to receive notification from. The iconic glyph interface is the same. Battery storage and there's this new infographic and display refresh rate the customization section is where you can find new colors in the palette four basic and 16 wall based colors which is awesome then there is the game dashboard which you can use to take screenshot or record footage it's gonna show frame per second and can manage play account too yeah. In app language works decent on this OS, privacy features are live too and yeah it is pretty much similar to what Pixel OS and there is nothing more a basic user would want. Yeah some customization options like one in one UI and iOS would be a great touch but overall it is a decent not so bulky skin. So again this OS got no bloatwares or adwares, the animations are smooth and the UI is pixel like with nothing add-ons on top which I like a lot and so far the battery has been decent. That's all guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.